Okay, I've taken a pretty good look at my solution here. I can't find the error. Uh, and I have plenty of ways that I can um, double check this. Okay, but a couple of errors I still see. This is negative 40 over 33, and that would make this negative, so not all three terms are negative, but this term's not going to be big enough to deal with these other terms. Um, and then I can insert slightly better numbers over here. Um, my value of B would be, you know, I'm not sure. I think I was substituting negative 61 over 33 for my value of A. Okay, so this should be negative 61 over 33 here. And then my value of A, if I correct my negative 40 over 33, which I did here, if I correct it up here, it makes this 240 negative and this 240 negative. And it gives me what, 65 here. So now I've got 65, which I have to subtract over here. And that's going to change my numbers. Um, well, actually, that might help. You know, when I'm looking at it, I didn't look closely enough. Okay, so now this is positive. It's going to be 232. So it's 232 over 132. Both of these are again divisible by 4. 232 gives me 58, I think, 58 over 33. That makes A positive. And you know, a minute ago I said, well, I had the negative 30, 61 over 33 in here for A, it shouldn't have been, and then I immediately wrote it down again for A, which wasn't real bright. Okay, so now let's see what we've got. Maybe I've got it. When I started this video, I was pretty sure I didn't, and then I'll tell you a little bit about things I was thinking. Okay, so we got 58 over 33. That's going to be positive. This is going to be positive. Uh, this is going to be negative. Uh, Let's see if there's any hope here. Okay, that's going to be almost 2, so that's going to be almost 6. That's going to be a little more than 2. We'll just say I've got 6 and 2, which makes 8. And 2 times this is about 2. It would be negative, would be 8 and a negative 2, which would still be more than Four, but it's close enough. Can take one more close look. So we've got 232 over 132. It's not 58 over 3, it's close, uh, but it's, yeah, because 4 goes into 240 60 times. 8 less means 2 less when you divide by 4 and all that. Um, so if I multiply by 33, and I'm going to skip some steps. 33 over here gives me 132, 33 times 4. That would leave me 3 times 58, which is 174, minus 122, plus 160. And that's still too big. Let's get closer. As I said, it's still going to be too big. I was getting like 6 equals 4 here. And that's going to be kind of consistent with what I've got here. So I'm getting closer, but close doesn't count, except in horseshoes. Okay, so I'm still wrong. Now, at this point, I'm kind of desperate enough to go back and do another kind of correction. Okay. I solved the first and third and the second and third. I eliminated A from the first and third and the second and third equations. 
Now, I could also have eliminated A from the first and second. Okay? So it'd be 3 times the first minus 4 times the second would eliminate A. And 3 times the first would be 12A minus 15B, trying to be careful, plus 18C equals 27. And negative 4 times the second would give me negative 12A, um, where am I? 4 times the second, uh, plus minus 12B plus 20C equals 12. Hopefully I did that right. The A's go away. I get negative 27B plus 38C equals 39. Now, I've got values of B and C here. Okay? Now just estimating, that's about 2, so negative 27 times that would be about negative 54 and a little over negative 1, that would be plus positive 54, a little over negative 1 would give me something a little over 38. So like 50 minus 40 doesn't equal 39. So either I did something wrong with this elimination or one of these two eliminations. Now I want to double check one of those eliminations very carefully, and then I'll use this equation and look at the resulting equation, whichever one of these I think is correct. And I'll solve again for B and C. Um, okay, got to check on this one very carefully because I'm only multiplying the second equation by 3. I've copied the first equation correctly. It matches up. I'll apply the second equation, uh, sorry, the third equation by 2, the second equation by 3, and that might be the source of some of my errors. But the second equation by 2, negative 2 gives me negative 4, that gives me 6, that gives me negative 10, gives me negative 6. Pretty confident with this equation, which means if I made a mistake, I start to suspect it would have been on this equation. Arithmetic is pretty simple, but so am I. Okay, so let's see. 2 times the first equation, the second equation, gives me 6 here, a 4 here, a negative 4 here, and an 8 here. And then 3 times the third equation gives me negative 6, 9, negative 15, negative, I don't see anything wrong. Okay. So it's kind of hit or miss. I solve this one with this one, solve this one with this one, see what works. It's a huge mess. Um, at this point, I would pull out other options. I learned Kramer's rule when I was in 10th grade. And I was you know, not in an accelerated class or anything. Everybody learned it. Uh, so I, had, I do determinants. I did the determinant of these coefficients in my head, and I got 1 instead of something like 33, which makes me nervous. Um, but I haven't written it out, so you can do that. Another thing is check the solutions of these equations by doing a little graphing. Okay? If I take this equation and this equation and draw a graph, I see the intercepts of this equation, if this is v, and this is C, then I've got 3 here, and I've got negative 3 quarters here. So here's my line. The intercepts on this equation are both pretty close to 0. They're really 1 one thirteenth or 1 19th. Uh, numbers like that. Um, so this is almost a line through the origin. The slope of the line isn't hard to see. It's going to be 13 over 19. Okay? 
13 over 19 is kind of close to 1. So if I draw a line through the origin, it looks like this, and estimate my point of intersection, it's going to be a little less than negative 3 quarters here, and it's going to be uh, like negative a half or something like that on B. And actually, I might have drawn that a little too steeply. Uh, so that C equals negative 40 over 33, a little less than negative 1 looks okay for the rest. Let me make it a little shallower here, C intersections. A little further over, I can reconcile that with, to an extent, with what I see here, but not completely. Hmm. Makes me wonder then if I did something wrong here. So I got. Now, now if, if this is the solution here, this has got to be the solution here, unless I'm just in a rut here where I keep seeing what I've already seen and believing it, even if it's not true. Uh, so, you know, I'm really kind of messed up. I, in, at this point, I would simply start over. Okay, and I'd eliminate something besides A. I'd eliminate B. And I'd try that. Okay. And then I'd eliminate C. Now, now what I'm going to have you do for homework is I'm going to have you solve the system by eliminating B and then eliminating C and see if you can get a good solution. Or see if you can see and or C. No, and I'll also look and see if you can find the error in my solution. The error or errors, there might be hundreds of them. Who knows? Okay? So that's the exercise we're going to have. Uh, with this system.